Okay. So, the method I use is called the AC method. And I think it's the best way to do it because it works for all materials and not just certain types. Because there is a trick, and if you use the trick every time, you're going to get it wrong sometimes. So, the way to use the AC method, uh, set up an X. It's also called the Xbox method. Because when you set up the X and you find these two numbers that multiply to equal A times C that add up to B, you put a box around them, and then they replace the middle term. So we're going to do that with our first example. First, set up the x. a times c goes in the top, b goes in the bottom. And we need two things that multiply to give us a times c that add up to or subtract to give us b. All right, so a times c is 2x squared times 2. 2x squared times 2, which is 4x squared. All right. And our b term is negative 5x. So we need two things that multiply to equal 2 times 2 is 4 that add up to negative 5. So two things that multiply to equal 4 that add up to negative 5 would be 4x and 1x. You don't need the 1. And their signs have to add up to negative 5. So we know they're both negative. So we take those and... Here's where the Xbox method comes in. You take these and you replace the middle term. So we have 2x squared. First term stays the same. Negative 5x becomes negative 4x minus x. It does not matter what order you put these into the equation either. You'll still get the right answer. Plus 2. 2 stays the same because we're not changing that. We're only changing the middle term. So now we use factor by grouping. So we group the first two and group the last two. Then we look at what the first two have in common. All right. So we could take out a 2 out of both of these, and we could take out an x, because there's an x in both. If we take out a 2x, we have x minus 2 left. Minus, we look at what we can take out here. Can't really take out anything, so we take out a 1, and we know this parenthesis and this parenthesis have to be the same. So if we take out a 1 out of here, this is going to give us x minus 2 as well. All right, and then the last step of factor by grouping. Everything on the inside of the parentheses goes in 1, and everything on the outside, 2x minus 1, will go in the other. And that is how you factor using the AC method. All right. So our next two examples, still using the AC method, we need to set up our x, so we can use the Xbox method or the AC method, whatever you prefer to call it. A times C in the top, B goes in the bottom, two things that multiply to equal A times C that add up to B. Well, A times C is A times C is X squared times 8, so 8X squared, that add up to negative 6, X. So what two things multiply to equal 8 that add up to negative 6? Well, only a few things multiply to equal 8. If you think of the factors, we have 2 times 4 and 8 times 1. 8 and 1 will never add up to 6. So it's definitely not that one. So we're definitely using 2x and 4x. And for them to add up to negative 6, they both have to be negative. There's always going to be only one single set that multiplies to give you this number and adds up to this number. So we take these, and they replace our middle term, negative 6x. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 4x plus 8. And like I said, it doesn't matter which order you put these in. You could have wrote minus 4x minus 2x. Then you factor by grouping. So we look at what these have in common. The only thing you can take out is an x. Parenthesis, what do you have left? If we take out 1x from each of these, take out an x from two x's, you have one left. Minus 2, take away the x there, it's gone. Uh, whatever this sign is, that's going to drop down for factor by grouping. That sign always drops down. So minus 4x and 8, 4 goes into both of these. And you want to take out the biggest thing you can. Um, and then if we divide both of these by negative 4, since we took out the negative as well, 
it's going to be x minus 2. And like I said, if these are not the same, you did something wrong. Okay? So everything on the inside goes in one, everything on the outside goes in the other. So our factored form is x minus 2, x minus 4. Now, the easy way of doing this, when this is just x squared and not a number times x squared, these are going to be your answer, negative 2 and negative 4. It does not always work that way when it looks like something like this. Um, and this is actually supposed to be a 12 here. So make sure you change that. We have 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. All right? So same thing here. I mean, two things. That multiply to give us a times c that add up to b, or subtract. But addition is the same as subtraction, so we don't really need to write it. Two things that multiply to equal, 4x squared times 9 is 36x squared, that add up to 12. So two things that multiply to equal 36. 36 times 1, well, that'll never add up to 12, so we can get rid of that. We have 18 times 2, and you can just keep going through your factors until you find two things that might add up to 12 with negative signs in front of them, or not. Um, 6 times 6 will add up to 12. So that's what we're using, 6x and 6x. And this is positive, and this is positive. 6 times 6 is positive 36. 6 plus 6 is 12. Perfect. So these replace our middle term. So we have 4x squared, does not change, plus 6x, plus 6x, plus 9 and then factor by grouping. So we look at our first two and our last two. Two things that multiply to equal, uh, I'm sorry, two things that go into four and six are just two. And we have an x squared and an x, so we can take out an x, just factoring out the greatest common factor out of the first two. If we take out a two x, four divided by two is two x squared, take away 1x, leaves us with 1x plus. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Took out the x. And if you distribute this, you should get back to here. Plus, what can we take out of 6 and 9? Well, um, 3 goes into 6 and 9, so we can take out a 3. And we have 2x plus 3 left again. Remember, these are not the same. You did something wrong. Um, make sure your signs match up too. A lot of people have trouble getting this sign sometimes when this is a negative. So everything on the inside goes in one, and everything on the outside goes in the other. And they happen to be the same thing. So like I said, everything on the inside goes in one, everything on the outside goes in the other. Same thing we did here. Everything on the inside went in one. So x minus 2, everything on the outside went in the other, x minus 4. Another way of writing this, whenever you're multiplying something by itself, it's the same as squaring it. So we could just say 2x minus 3 squared. And if you foiled this out, you should get right back to here. So that's it for today.